Hi again, guys. Let's talk about Liverpool Football Club's start to the Premier League season. Neil Atkinson of the Anfield Rap is a regular a guest on the show, and uh, he's agreed to just have a little chat with me separately here about the start to the season. Neil, have you liked what you've seen so far? I like what I've seen in the season, and I like what I saw through pre-season. Liverpool pre-season brilliantly. They had a lot of the best players back from week one, which hasn't happened for a while, and those players have got themselves a really good rest. And from there, you've just seen them grow and find themselves a little bit. I've been really pleased with the general level of Naby Keita, both through that pre-season and into the season. He looks like he could be in a position to contribute to this squad properly for the entirety of the campaign. And I think, you know, listen, it's, it's a tough Champions League draw, and we know that the Premier League, to win it, you've got to look like you can get 90 points, and that's going to be an ask. Mm. But I think Liverpool are, are as capable as anyone else. Let's step back a touch here because, you know, we find ourselves in a time of extremes. And I'm talking about transfers. You know, no sooner mm. has one blockbuster come and gone and happened or not happened, then another one comes along. And, you know, we've had the whole sort of messy situation. Mbappe, we've had uh, uh, Kane, which didn't happen. Ronaldo, of course. And all this while, Liverpool have had... Kanate uh, and a little bit of chat about Bissouma and of course there are certain people who consume their football for the, for, the, for the angst for the online stuff and they are the fans who've gone well, well Liverpool need to be doing this we need to be making statements we can't be standing still you're not one of those fans are you? No, I don't think that I, I don't think that transfers are in and of themselves statements. I think it's very, very rare that that's the case. I think Liverpool have made a couple of statement transfers. Don't get me wrong, across the last four or five years, but I think that first and foremost, now Liverpool are a super club in terms of what the expectations are and where the wage bill is. And I think this is a big thing. Liverpool can compete. Arsenal compete in transfer fees. They will put out 120 million minimum, maybe even more over the course of this. But Liverpool's wage bill is 50% bigger than Arsenal's. Mm. And what ensures what ensures Liverpool last season, why they finished third even through the injury crisis, is because the money's on the pitch, the talent is on the pitch, it's getting paid and it's there and it produces the results even in a time of crisis. So I think that Liverpool being quite calm and controlled is no bad thing. Listen, don't get me wrong, I would love Liverpool to sign Kylian Mbappe. I think he's a f phenomenal footballer and I've always felt it was it was possible uh, if it was as a free transfer that it could mm. happen. It's now looking very likely that it's not going to and that is a little bit of a blow because I think he's an incredible footballer, possibly the next great footballer in a worldwide sense but from there though Liverpool have got to therefore find all the solutions over a period of time but they're doing that and let's be really clear about this by the time we get to the 31st of August the biggest five wage bills in the world four of them will be in the Premier League one mm. of them will be Liverpool's mm. and I think that that is worth bearing in mind yeah and, and the other thing about that of course is the renewals and it's been obviously a summer for renewals and, and, and the most recent one you, you know you're looking at defenders you're looking at Robertson uh, it wasn't that long ago that we were we're talking about Van Dijk. So Salah's the one, you know, and especially if you're not going after, if you're not going after one of these marquee names, then you have to keep your superstar. And I think without any doubt, he is the one at the moment, isn't he? Oh, absolutely, yes. And I think it is very important that Liverpool do get him tied down. If Liverpool get him tied down, the opportunity for him to be a genuine bona fide Liverpool legend is there. The idea that he scores 200 goals for Liverpool suddenly raises its head if they can get him tied down for five years from this point. And I really hope that they do. I think that that could be a phenomenal move. He's remarkably consistent. He's there year in, year out, game in, game out. He does the business. I think he is the best player in the league. So, you know, if Liverpool can get him tied down and keep him, that is major. I think Henderson will get done soon. That's good news for the Reds. Uh, and I think in general, then Mane and Firmino, there's a bit of a decision to be made. But don't get me wrong, there's a minor problem Liverpool have got, not this season, but looking seasons ahead. You know, a fair few of these players, they're not over the hill now. They're actually in their peak years now. Mm -hmm. But if you're at your peak, you're only going one way. And Liverpool do need to address that. And I'd love them to get a couple of lads in before the end of this transfer window. We've got really high ceilings who are aged between 22 and 24 who can start playing and learning from Mo Salah yeah. and Jordan Henderson now. And that's why when you could do a deal, if, if you could with someone like Yves Bissouma, who I think any Premier League club should be interested in right now, that would make sense. Konate is one who can grow into that position uh, yep. defensively as well. Um, Harvey Elliott has been almost like a new signing, of course, and you've got other young players around here. How confident are you that the club can both strategize the business and also deliver the silverware on the pitch this season? 
I think that the silverware on the, the, there isn't a signing Liverpool could make. So I like Basuma a great deal as well. But I don't think signing Eve Basuma would make Liverpool significantly likelier to win either of the two major honours they want to win the league or the Champions League. I think he's a really good player and I think he could contribute a lot to Liverpool. But ultimately, I think where Liverpool are now, they are able to do that particular business themselves. They are able to go on and win. Uh, but being able to plan for the future, to be able to see what's coming next, to be able to think, all right, what can a player like Basuma do year two, year three, year year four, mm. that'd be really major for Liverpool. I think they could do with an attacker who can contribute now-ish. Certainly if they're going to use Harvey Elliott in midfield. So Harvey looks great, but if he's going to play in midfield rather than play in the front three, I would argue we're a, we're a very good member of that front three light. And I would like to see them go for someone who's got a lot of pace, a player who profiles like, and I'm not saying necessarily this player, but a player who profiles like Ishmael Assar would mm. be no bad thing for Liverpool. So again, someone who's got capacity to grow yeah. but who could contribute now if we needed them yeah the next uh, Sadio Mane or someone like that Neil yeah. it's always such a pleasure uh, talking over what's going on at LFC uh, with you uh, I wish you well for the season and uh, take care of yourself thank you very much and uh, good luck for the whole thing as well and everyone who watches and listens it's very much appreciated